Today we're talking about tempo changes within Cakewalk by BandLab. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put in specific tempo changes. It's not gonna be about creating like gradual tempo changes like you may hear in songs like Come On Eileen. It's gonna be about actually putting in strategic tempo changes. And this will obviously work great for specific genres of music that really need it. So if you guys ever wondered how to do that, stick around after this introduction and I will show you how. What is going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about cakewalk tempo changes. So. Not the most exciting topic because this only tends to gear towards specific genres of music. If you are making a pop song, a rock song, or anything commercial, you probably don't really need to do tempo changes in your music. But there are lots of other genres out there that do require tempo changes. And this tutorial is going to be the one that answers your question on how do you actually implement a tempo change in Cakewalk by BandLab. So before we get into our tempo change example, I do want to mention I have a playlist popping up in the top right corner now full of cakewalk training videos. So these videos range from beginner to advanced. And if you guys are interested in getting better at using cakewalk, definitely check out this playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's actually get into our little tempo change example here. All right, so for this example here, we are going to insert a tempo change onto this piano track I have right here. And we're going to insert it on measure number seven. So I'm gonna click on measure seven here. And the reason we're gonna do seven is because this is four bars into the playing and we'll be able to keep some sort of structure. So the next thing we need to do is we need to open the tempo window. And to do that, we need to go up to the views tab on the top left of the Cakewalk application. So see where my mouse is at? Click views, and then go down to where it says tempo, where my mouse is at. You can also launch this window by pressing Alt Shift 5 on your keyboard. So let's click this here. And now you see we got our tempo window right here. Now in your tempo window here, you have this green flag and you'll see that it is at measure seven because this actually links up with where your playback is at in your edit window. So now that we have this already at where we want to insert our tempo change, all we have to do is simply go to this plus button right here. And as you hover over, it says insert tempo. So let's press that. And now we just have to select what tempo we want. So let's do something drastic. Let's make it like 140. And then you'll see that the starting time is at measure 701, which is perfect. And then you also have an option here if you need to do a tap to tempo, if you need to figure out a tempo. So that's pretty cool. So all we need to do now is hit the OK button. And now you'll see that we have a graphical change of the tempo here, all right? So if I start playing this back, it's gonna be at 100 all right here, and then it's gonna to switch to 140 here. So maybe I wanna insert a tempo change for it to go back to 100 at some point. So how about we have it do four measures at 140, and then we have it go back to 100 at measure 11, because that's four bars there. So let's put this back at 100 here. And I'll do 100. Do Okay, all right. So basically what we did is we put a four bar tempo change of 140 and then everything else is back at 100. All right, so let's actually give this a listen so you can actually see it in action.
right, pretty cool, huh? If only I can play piano that fast, that'd be pretty amazing. So, um, but yeah, that's all it takes to actually insert a tempo change cakewalk. So I should mention that if you want to remove a tempo change, if you go up to your select tool here in the top left and choose that, and then you highlight your um, tempo change here, and then you go to this little minus button right here where it says delete tempo, press that, and then your tempo change is gone. So that is how you delete a tempo change in Cakewalk. So I hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. Again, this is gonna be only useful for a certain amount of people, but I still enjoyed making this tutorial for you, so I enjoy helping anybody that I can. And if you end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.